Hello viewers, welcome to Math Track. I am Amish Sharma. Today we are going to solve a question of partial differential equation from CSIR Net November 2020. The question is from Part B. So without a delay, let's start. Question is: The general solution of the surfaces which are perpendicular to family of surfaces z square equal to k x y k belongs to R is option one. Phi of x square minus y square comma x z equal to zero. Phi belongs to c one r square. Option two. Phi of x square minus y square comma x square plus z square equal to zero. Phi belongs to c one r square. Option three. Phi of x square minus y square comma two x square plus z square equal to zero. Phi belongs to c one r square. Option four. Phi of x square plus y square comma three x square minus z square equal to zero. Phi belongs to C one R square. We have to learn the following result in order to solve the question. Result: The integral surface of quasi-linear partial differential equation f x into u x plus f y into u y minus f u equal to zero is orthogonal or perpendicular to given surface f of x comma y comma u equal to c. Given surface is z square equal to k into x y implies z square by x y equal to k. Therefore, f is z square by x y. The integral curves are given by dx divided by curly f by curly x equal to dy divided by curly f by curly y equal to dz divided by curly f by curly z. Which implies dx divided by z square over minus x square y equal to dy divided by z square over minus x y square equal to dz divided by 2z over x y, which further implies minus x dx divided by z equal to minus y dy divided by z equal to dz by 2. Taking pairs one and two, we have. Minus x dx by z equal to minus y dy by z, which implies x into dx minus y into dy equal to zero. Integrating both sides, we get x square minus y square equal to c one. Taking pair one and three, we have minus x dx divided by z equal to dz by two, which implies two x dx plus z dz equal to zero. Integrating both sides, we get 2x square plus z square equal to c2. Thus, the required surface is phi of c1 comma c2 equal to zero, which implies phi of x square minus y square comma 2x square plus z square equal to zero. Hence, option C is right. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content please do like share and subscribe my channel if you have any query comment me thank you very much